Egypt is the land of wonders. It's known as the land of pharaohs and is famous for numerous pyramids. Egyptians master the arts of mummification and are famed for the discovery of golden treasures. How much do you know about Egypt? You may be aware of their skills and enslavement for the construction of incredible pyramids. Famous Queen Cleopatra was not Egyptian, although she had played a predominant role in the history of the region. The enormous spread of desert in Egypt is also full of historical events and every moment archaeologists are busy dusting the sands to discover new troves. It is an accepted fact that the more we dig, the more mysterious things we come across. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. The Lost Golden City The ancient city of Egypt remained covered under sands for thousands of years. Keeping in view the elaborate layout and well-preserved structures, it can be termed as Pompeii of Egypt and is around 3,400 years old. The discovery of this golden city was accidental, as archaeologists were actually searching for Mortuary Temple on the west bank of Luxor, near the Valley of the Kings, approximately 500 kilometers south of Cairo. During the process, they encountered a mud-brick formation. After ascertaining its enormous extent, it occurred to the archaeologists that they had perhaps discovered the largest hidden city of Egypt, which had once been known as Eden. The city had multiple sections, including offices, a bakery, a large number of houses, and numerous statues. There were certain rooms filled with ancient pottery, jewellery, scarab beetle amulets, and mud bricks having seals of Amenhotep III, who ruled for four decades, from 1391 to 1353 BC. Experts have termed it the second largest discovery from ancient Egypt. The Coffins of Saqqara Archaeologists discovered a trove of treasure at Saqqara Necropolis located south of Cairo. Discoveries include numerous pyramids and the oldest pyramid of Joseph. In the past, it used to be the official cemetery of the Egyptian capital of Memphis. It also contained a funerary temple of Queen Nert, the wife of King Teti, who had died about 4,200 years earlier. Archaeologists are constantly making new discoveries, including the recovery of over 150 intact sarcophagi or wooden coffins, which belonged to the period of the New Kingdom. At almost 2,500 years old, the sarcophagi were excavated from 52 different burial locations that were located 40 feet underground. Experts also came across a 13-foot-long and 3-foot-wide papyrus scroll which bore an ancient Book of the Dead written in the hieroglyphics, the old Egyptian language. It was used to reach the afterlife of the pharaoh. Archaeologists also found a selection of board games that were meant to entertain the dead during life after death. One game is considered similar to chess. Ancient Sunken Ship The ancient sunken city of Thonis Heracleion was discovered by some divers in 2001 in Abakir Bay near Alexandria. The city, which once used to be the greatest port of the world on the Mediterranean, remained hidden underwater for thousands of years. The metropolis situated on the mouth of the western branch of the River Nile has remained well preserved for the last two millennia. Astonishing artifacts including 700 anchors, enormous statues and 64 ships have been recovered from the floor of the sea. The baffling discovery has been the 82-foot-long flat-bottom military vessel having a large sail. It also has classical features and is a masterpiece of ancient Egyptian craftsmanship. The vessel provides a unique opportunity to researchers for tracing the maritime history of the country. The Stone of Apris Finding a tombstone dating back to biblical times seems to be a rare opportunity. However, an Egyptian farmer who was tilling his land as a routine was fortunate enough to discover a stella. He immediately approached the antiquity authorities who informed him that the stella was installed about 2,600 years ago during the reign of Pharaoh Apris, who ruled from 589 to 570 BC. The king was so significant that he'd actually been mentioned in the Bible. He was strangulated by his subjects. His stone stella was discovered about 60 miles away from Cairo. It's 91 inches tall and 41 inches broad. Archaeologists are trying to translate hieroglyphs, especially 15 lines inscribed on them. One thing most prominent is the sun disk carved on the tablet, which represents the sun god Ra. Experts believe that the stella is inscribed with details of a military campaign overseen by Apris and was erected as a symbol of dedication, commemoration and demarcation. Void Pyramid Treasure Archaeologists made the most astonishing discovery of the century when they found out the cavity in the pyramid built for Pharaoh Khufu. This is the first cavity discovered over the last 200 years. The mysterious discovery was owed to fresh subatomic technology. 
This immense structure is nearly 4,500 years old. It is 479 feet tall, and its hidden cavities make it seem quite mysterious. Due to fear of damaging or causing the collapse of structures inside the pyramid, archaeologists are afraid of digging any further. The Khufu Ship This gigantic 144-foot-long ship was discovered from under the pyramid. Experts believe that the vessel was built for Pharaoh Khufu, who had built the pyramid. This 4,600-year-old planked ship is considered to be the oldest ship in the world. In 1954, Egyptian archaeologist Kamal al-Malak discovered the vessel lying in pieces that were buried beneath the pyramid. He rebuilt it from scratch and learned about ancient shipbuilding art. It is made of well-preserved oars and planks that smell like cedar. Probably the wood had been imported from Lebanon. Interestingly, it seems that Khufu's craftsmen had designed it in a manner that parts of it can be carried separately. Perhaps it was to be used by the pharaoh during his life after death, as it was believed that he had to sail across the heavens with the sun god Ra. The Aswan Obelisk You can find numerous ancient quarries around the Egyptian city of Aswan. However, one of the most mysterious unfinished obelisks is the most prominent. The strange monument comprising of obelisk had not been completed, but no one knows why. It's about 130 feet tall and weighs approximately 1,090 tons. Simply put, this solid obelisk would have been equivalent to the weight of 200 African elephants. Large cracks are visible in its granite and the sculpture has been left attached to the parent rock. People are at a loss to understand and explain the reasons for which this mammoth structure was built and who ordered to abandon its construction. Archaeologists can study deep into the engineering of ancient Egyptians. Presently, the obelisk is an open-air museum where anyone can get a chance to peep into the past. The Town of the Tomb Builders some phenomenal tombs can be found in the Valley of the Kings. Archaeologists have been able to discover how this burial site was built. Just a few miles away to the south from the valley existed a village that housed the workmen who constructed the marvellous necropolis. A large number of workmen accompanied by their families lived here from 1550 to 1070 BC. These ancient builders are believed to be well paid and respected by society. They transfer their expertise and knowledge to the next generations. The tomb construction workers used to work eight hours a day and consecutively for ten days. Then they were permitted two days off. It said that at the start of the shift, workers were given a candle that burned for eight hours. It was a good system to keep the counting of working hours. Archaeologists have also found a large garbage pit where workers used to dump all the documents which have provided a good source of study to researchers. The workers only used to get time off from work because of scorpion bites, aching feet and eye problems. Valley of the Golden Mummies This is the most opulent burial site in the world, known as the Valley of the Golden Mummies. It's located in Baja Re Oasis. The necropolis was discovered in 1996 by a group of researchers led by Egyptian archaeologist Zahi Hawass. Right at the start of digging, they found 200 mummies which are believed to be about 2,000 years old. With a progress in excavation work, they discovered a whopping 10,000 mummies. Experts claim that mummies recovered from this site were among the best preserved as well as the most beautiful mummies so far recovered in Egypt. A large number of mummies were found fully covered in gold, elaborate masks covering their faces and gilded waistcoats decorated with pictures of gods and goddesses. Some of these were buried accompanied with jewellery, food and coins. Perhaps all these accessories were meant to be used in the next life. Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh In ancient Egypt, silver was considered to be more valuable than gold and was reserved only for the wealthiest members of society. The only person found buried in silver was Pharaoh Psusenes I. His royal tomb is considered to be the most unprecedented in history. Experts have graded his tomb even higher than the tomb of Tutankhamun. Susenes ruled Egypt for 46 years. He was the famous third pharaoh of the 21st dynasty as well as a high priest. His reign prevailed from 1047 to 1001 BC. Temple of Bastet Cats have been worshipped in different parts of the world for quite some time. Ancient Egyptians were no exception. In Alexandria, archaeologists have discovered a 2,000-year-old temple dedicated to the worship of the cat god Bastet. It presumably belongs to the Queen Bernek II, who ruled during the 3rd century. Her spouse is believed to be a gigantic cat person. The 200-foot-high and 50-foot-wide temple is full of kitty statues, which are believed to resemble the lion-headed goddess Asper, a deity that's related to the sun god Ra. Abu Simbel In 1813, Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt discovered the Abu Simbel, which is a site of two majestic temples constructed by the pharaoh Ramses II. 
It depicts two 66-foot-tall seated figures of Remsis. Queen Nefertari and children can be seen in smaller figures near his feet. Probably Remsis II built these temples to impress the people of Nobia by displaying his divine powers. Twice in a year, the first rays of the sun shone through the temples, illuminating all the sculptures installed in the innermost sanctuary. But the sculpture of Patar, the god associated with the realm of the dead, remained in the dark. People even today gather there on these two days to observe the alignment of the sun with the temples, which is around the 22nd of February and 22nd of October. UNESCO has declared it a World Heritage Site. Keeping in view their historic value, these temples were moved to a safer and higher location in the 1960s when Aswan Dam led the lake to fill and could damage the temples. About 16,000 blocks were carefully moved and assembled with the help of money provided by 50 different countries. The Rosetta Stone In 1799, the French Emperor Napoleon led a military campaign to Egypt during which a stone known as Rosetta Stone was discovered near the town of Rosetta by a soldier. It led to a major change in human history. It's a 3-foot, 8-inch tall slab of black basalt which assisted in solving the enormous mysteries of human history. It's engraved with ancient writing, which could be deciphered by experts. It provided the key required to translate ancient hieroglyphs. About 2,000 years later, the damaged tablet was written with passages carved in three different languages, Greek, Egyptian Demotic, and Hieroglyphics. The Greek text made clear that all three texts had the same meaning, which helped the experts to understand the meanings of mysterious symbols which were thought to have lost their meaning. The Rosetta Stone is considered to be part of a bigger stone and was carved in 196 BC. It's displayed in the British Museum in London. Pyramid Secret Tunnels It would be weird to think that something exists beneath the massive pyramids, but one British explorer, Andrew Collins, recently discovered a labyrinth of caves, chambers, and passages below the Pyramid of Giza. He managed to discover these secret tunnels while exploring cracks in one of the tombs. The huge cave existed beneath the limestone bedrock. His underground world is full of colonies of bats, poisonous spiders, suffocating darkness, and hidden holes that could endanger any adventurer. Once, the city of Giza was known as Rosta, and that means Mouth of Passages, and this modern rediscovery has justified this title. Secrets of the Sphinx Experts believe that the Sphinx of Giza was constructed around 4,500 years ago by the rulers of the Old Kingdom. Some conspiracy theorists believe that these could be at least 15,000 years old and were built by the residents of the lost city of Atlantis. They believe that they would have sufficient evidence to validate their contentions. In the 1950s, a French Egyptologist claimed that the body of the Sphinx was damaged by the Nile River, and that could have happened only 15,000 years ago. Based on the peculiar geography of the area, it is also considered that the citizens of Atlantis passed on their advanced knowledge, technology, and skills to the ancient Egyptians, which facilitated them to construct colossal buildings besides other achievements. These people also pointed out that Egypt receives just 2 to 4 inches of rain throughout the year, However, it required the same volume of rain daily to cause such damage to the Sphinx. We've just shed light on a few glaring aspects of ancient Egypt. You may explore more and share your views with us. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing and informative content. See you all soon.